hey y'all welcome back to my youtube channel let's get cozy a journey to me today's topic is going to be called um i asked for one but god gave me three so a little backstory um before i rejoined uh, ministry i just really wanted to make sure that you know i was in a good place um both mentally and spiritually and so um prior to me even deciding to go back you know i asked if i would have to go through new member orientation again and they were like no just come back and um when you come back you know just think about leadership so i was like mm, okay i said okay but in my mind and in my heart, I was like, uh, no. And so, um, I eventually went back. I rejoined, I believe, like October or these or November of 2019. And so, um, really wasn't any more thought put into me being in a leadership role. So, come 2020, I started attending Bible study. And the main leader came up to me and was like, pray about leadership. And I was like, okay. And she was like, I'm going to give you two weeks. And I was like, okay. So prayed about it. Um, they invited me to my first official um, leadership team meeting. Um and I was a bit nervous, but I was a little vocal, something that I'm usually not because I tend to, you know, stay to myself and not really say too much stuff like, you know, things like that. And so, um, yeah, so literally when she introduced me and was like, you know, we're going to be I'm going to be a new leader. The hand claps was like, and I was like, oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? I don't know if you heard that, but you know, it's like a little slow clap. And so I was like, oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? So mind you, this was Saturday. So the slow hand claps were like really on my mind all night to the next morning. So Sunday morning, I woke up, um, did my devotionals, and I just prayed because I'm the type of person, if I am going to cause somebody else to stumble or fall, I don't want to put myself in that situation because I don't want to put somebody else in that situation, you know, if that makes sense. So... I woke up, did my devotionals, I prayed, and I was like, God, if this is something that you really want me to do, like, I I need you <laughs> to reaffirm and reconfirm that this is what you want, and this is not something that I'm just blindly putting myself in. And so, literally prayed about it that Sunday morning, got myself together, went to church. Mind you, that was the only thing that I prayed about, was just, God, if this leadership role is really for me, <laughs> let me know. So, I went to church, and, you know, the songs were amazing. Oh, my gosh, the songs were amazing. And the preacher started preaching. And guess what he preached about? Leadership. Not only did he preach about leadership, he preached about friendships. And he also preached about relationships as well. Now, my friendships and my relationships with the opposite sex, opposite sex those have been something, those have been some things that I have prayed about as well and just in my praying in my alone time it's just 
you know, those that came with you can go with you. And that's for the friendship part. And then for the relationship part, it's always just wait. Continue waiting. Wait on me. And just wait. Do what you're doing and just wait. And so I was like, okay. So when the preacher was preaching, um, he made a com well, he made a statement and he was like, Now it's not the time to be on the sideline. Now is the time to step up, step out, and rise up. And I was like, Okay, God, I asked you if this leadership thing was for me. Okay, thank you. But not only did he remind me that he was calling me to leadership, he also reminded me about my friendships. And he was just stating that, you know, expect layovers in your life because to not everybody that is on this flight with you is going to the same places that you are going to. So allow them to get off the plane and allow the people that are going to the same destination to get on the plane. That way, they'll be able to refuel you. And I was like, God, say it ain't so. Not only did he remind me of my friendships, he also reminded me of my relationships. And he stated that what well, well, pretty much he was stating that um, in a time that you are not expecting it, um, that's when it'll be given to you. Right now, I'm content with not without having anybody in my life. And it took me an absolute while to get here because I was like, God, where are you going to send me a man? <laughs> I want to go on dates. <laughs> I want to have fun. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's just, you know, wait, you, you still thinking about it. Just don't think about it. And so it was just funny and quite amazing that he was like, you know, in, in due time, when this is not something you're thinking about, when this is something you are no longer desiring and, and wanting, that's when I'll give it to you. When you're not even looking forward to it anymore that's when i give it to you so yeah god is amazing <laughs> like amazing all i did was ask him about all i did was ask him about leadership that was it and he blessed me with leadership he blessed me with friendships and he blessed me with relationships and i was just like God, you ain't forgot about me yet. <laughs> you ain't forgot. And so, yeah, that's all that I wanted to share is that uh, when you begin to align and when you begin to just reach out and seek a God in everything that you do, he will answer you. And with me, I'm not even going to sit up here and tell y'all a story. Sometimes God has to tell me more than three times. Because I will talk myself out of whatever he has told me because I would allow fear. I would allow emotions. I would allow, well, did he really say that? Or was that something that I just told myself? Like, I would concoct all of these different whatever in my head to talk me out of what God said. So like I said, sometimes he has to tell me more than three times through di three different people just for me to be like, okay, Clanisha, <laughs> when you going to get it together? Like I done told you through this person, through your daughter, through your youngest daughter, through this person that you didn't even know that you was just in the grocery store with. Like, how many times do I have to show, reveal, and send people to you before just, yeah, that's from God. Like, and so, but that's just me, you know. Sometimes I can get a little bit beside myself, but he knows me. He knows his daughter. 
So, yeah, just continue seeking God and all that you do, and he'll answer. He most definitely will. So, that is it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I just really hope that this um, video touched you in a way. And um, one of my favorite scriptures is... Um, Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. And when I say I pray, I pray. And when I pray, I make sure that I'm opening my eyes um, to not see through my own eyes, but to see through God's lens. Because sometimes when we see with our own eyes, we're easily fooled. And I know sometimes I can be easily fooled because I can see something that I know is for me and I'll talk myself out of it just like I can see something that I know is not for me and I'll talk myself into it so you you definitely have to pray you definitely have to be watchful and whatever answer God gives to you remain thankful whether if it's something that you wanted to see or if it was something that you did not want to see I always be thankful because he gave it to you that's it y'all peace out